for today tutorial is actually the the continuity from the previous one the previous tutorial that I uploaded one year ago on 24 June 2010 actually for this tutorial I don't think I can give you the file because the, la the desktop that I use which is the HP all-in-one 24 is actually a bit problem problematic so when I try to uh, plug in the, the the external floppy disk back to the desktop it can be detected so I don't know why I did try to copy and paste the required uh, system file still cannot be detected so for today tutorial I will show you uh, on how to first not to install to check either your laptop has the required file that so that your external floppy disk can be detected by your desktop or laptop so my external floppy disk actually i bought it from china so as you can see the name of the floppy disk is teac version 0.0, .0. as you can see this is okay So it detected as A drive, as uh, same with the old days when if you are used to uh, operate the older windows such as 95, 98, 2000, I think you feel a bit of nost nostalgia when you see the capital A drive. So the one that I plug in is the external floppy disk not the floppy disk from desktop some of you maybe you customize it and maybe you use some kind of converter between either USB to SATA or USB to I don't know ID, IDE I'm not sure but you can try it but the one that I uh, bought from Shopee is the cus the external actually they already make it as external floppy disk and then convert it to USB so for today tutorial as you can see actually uh, got a few file that need to be available in your PC so for the first one you need to check either you have all of these three files the first file is this.system ehstockclass.system third one is partmanager.system all of this file you need your PC or laptop need to be installed into your folder the file itself need to be available in the folder so if you don't have the file you need to copy and paste into the subfolder of drivers it actually it is under the main windows folder and then you need to double, uh, click the system32 drivers and then you copy and paste so the second one is the not this one yeah this one you need to copy your pc you should have this s floppy dot system this file need to be available in your pc 
if you don't have the file you need to copy and paste into the same folder that I mentioned just now okay the, 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 the file that usually missing at your PC especially on Windows 10 is this three file floppy disk.inf floppy disk.pnf and floppy disk.sys so all of this file actually you need to copy and paste into this folder the, the name of the folder is floppy disk.inf underscore amd64 blah 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 later you can uh, pause my video and recheck either it, it is the same uh, file name or not because this one maybe some of the some of your laptop or desktop there might be i uh, the name of the file is different the one the laptop that i using is the asus tough gaming fx504 so maybe uh, with your acer asus hp maybe the name of the file will be different but this the, the some of the system file may be available maybe not you need to copy and paste into the folder so the the, the file it actually it is under uh, the same system 32 folder but you need to paste uh, you need to open uh, under the driver store folder file respiratory and the same folder that I mentioned just now I would like to remind you some of the file actually maybe you might uh, paste it under uh, this system WOW64 some of the file actually can't be detected because uh, the one that I mentioned just now you cop you copy and paste into the system 32 uh, folder this one is the, the normally for 64 bit you need to paste into two folder one folder for 32 bit another one is folder for 64 bit normally you need to paste copy and paste to both folder so for today tutorial i think you need to copy and paste the same file that i mentioned just now into this system of 64 this is for try and error only because some of my desktop you don't need to paste into this folder but uh you need to try to paste into this system 32 folder first and then you need to restart plug in the external hard disk and then i think it should be detected if not you try to paste into the system 32 system sys wow 64 restart and then restart and then plug in the external copy this again and try copy and paste some of the um, external hard disk it can be detected but you cannot copy and paste for my one I can copy and paste the disk that i try to copy is more than 20 years uh, the original one is on 1998 98 more than 20 years ago so it is a bit incredible for me to copy a file from 20 years ago it shows that our technology has moved with incredible speed for the past 20 years i think that's all for today all the file system file that i, I mentioned to you just now i will put 
the name of the file in the description for those who are still not able to get the file maybe you can email me or message me on my uh, youtube channel so thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe my channel bye